Barfoot and Thompson has declared that confidence has returned to the Auckland property market. The real estate agency's just had its most active trading month in two years. Auckland's average sales price is now $1.2 million. But as Zane Small reports, the rest of the country is more subdued. Going. Going. Sold. Congratulations to the buyers here. John McFarlane and his wife are in celebration mode after securing a South Auckland property at auction for under a million dollars. To live in a suburb that I would want to live in was just beyond my budget and I thought Pukekohe was still doable. Though they might be the exception, Barford and Thompson's latest update shows in March the average sales price of a property in Auckland rose to $1.2 million, up 10% on the previous month. Managing Director Peter Thompson said March was the most active trading month the Auckland housing market has experienced in the past two years. It's definitely improved from last year, there's no doubt about that. But while Auckland property values are rising, it's coming off a low base. That drop happened when the Reserve Bank started increasing interest rates. And given those high borrowing costs, at a national level, property values increased by only 0.5% in the past month. There's a, a main centre strength versus a slightly patchier recovery in the provincial markets. People coming into the country and looking to buy and invest in the Auckland market especially. At a time when the Reserve Bank is battling to reduce demand, annual net migration to New Zealand is at a record high. More than 133,000 people in the past year. Those people all need somewhere to live. And yet new data shows the number of new homes consented to be built in February was down 6% compared to the same time last year. And the pressure is only going to increase, with ASB analysis suggesting New Zealand needs to invest a trillion dollars in the next three decades to meet infrastructure demands. I thought this could be potentially be for us the last year or 18 months before migration, people pouring into New Zealand. And so despite the tough economic conditions, John and his wife are taking a leap of faith. It's seizing the moment before Auckland property prices rise beyond their reach. Zane Small, News Hub.